Hello my sweet friends, welcome to DIY with Nadia and welcome to another Centerpiece Sunday. Today I have the cutest little centerpiece for spring that you can modify to use for weddings, for birthdays, for anything you want. This one has little bunnies. I hope you can see them. They're little green moss bunnies and they're absolutely adorable. This is made with the Dollar Tree 3D wreath and actually all of this is Dollar Tree including the little base that I have here so if you want to make an affordable gorgeous centerpiece this can be used for weddings you can put numbers on here for table numbers or for birthday parties for whatever occasion just modify what you put in there but um, the way I did the actual rings that's kind of new but I'm telling you this is <laughs> This is my favorite centerpiece I have made so far because it's just, it cannot get cuter than two little bunnies sitting in a field of flowers. Before we get into the video, I wanted to say a sincere heartfelt thank you to all my subscribers and a quick reminder that I have two videos weekly. I have Wreath Wednesday, 6 p.m. Central, and also Centerpiece Sunday, 6 p.m. Central. You can find that schedule on my banner that's on my homepage. And also, once in a while, I'll have a video in between those days. Maybe I'll have a, an inspiration and do a read that was not on my schedule, or possibly a Q&A or a home tour or something. But sometimes that happens, so make sure that you also have the bell on if you're subscribed, that way you know when a video comes out. Without further ado, let's get started. This is a 10 inch 3D wreath form and it comes with these two spirals right here and that's to put it together but we're not going to use this until a little later. First thing I'm going to do is take my wreath apart and it comes apart fairly easy and then I'm going to grab this raffia. This is from the Dollar Tree and this is 87 yards of it. And I've already used it on at least two projects and I still have a bunch of it left over. So what I want to do with this is I'm going to wrap my rings in this raffia. First I'm going to grab my little finger protectors and then I'm just going to start hot gluing the raffia to the little rings. I think I'll cut it down a little bit. And just hot glue it from time to time. And here is one ring all done. I just kept on hot gluing the raffia right to the wreath form and just went all the way around. The only thing I didn't touch are the little circles right here because that's how we're going to bring the wreath together. And now I'm just going to move on and do the rest of my rings. I'm all done with my rings and I wanted this kind of farmhouse rustic look a little bit of the changing colors of the raffia. It looks so pretty. And here I'm just going to put it on these little spikes that are going on the side. Just one by one. And the last one. And of course, this is an additional step. You don't have to do it, but I absolutely love how it turned out. I love the changing colors of the raffia when it was painted. It looks so pretty to me. Now I'm going to get these wee looking things. Grab one, open up my beautiful 3D wreath here. And I'm just going to start wrapping these around my spikes right here, just wrapping it around just like that. And then I'm going to go to the opposite side and then wrap it around. It's kind of like a little hammer. It has the short end and the long end. I like doing the short end first. I'm going to do it right here, short end, and then the long. It's going to feel a little awkward almost, but that is all right. Just keep on going. And then we're going to do the same thing on top here. And here it is on top and here it is at the bottom. Now you just pick which one you want to be at the bottom. And then one of the spikes I'm going to try to bend. I feel like this is going to be a challenge for me because I have no muscle mass. <laughs> so we'll see how hard this is to bend. It's not that bad. Make sure you're not pulling it because you don't want to crack this. I'm basically just bending it right here to make it shorter. 
and we are going to fix this part a little later and we're going to decorate on top to cover all of this up now we need to put our sphere on something you can use anything you want i tend to use these little shadow boxes from the dollar tree i just feel like they sit really nicely on top so let me take whatever this stuff off and then here it's nice you're going to put it in there and hot glue it in place before i hot glue the centerpiece to the shadow box i'm going to give it two coats of this martha stewart uh, chalk paint and this one's like a light pink it's going to go with our uh, arrangement really nice but at the end of the day it's probably not going to be seen too much because we're going to cover a lot of it with the greenery but i'm going to give it a few coats just in case and you do really want to do the sides because if you're going to have your centerpiece piece somewhere high this will definitely peek through so I'm going to give it a few coats of paint and I'll be right back and here is how I painted my shadow box now I'm just going to grab my little centerpiece and of course where you have the little spike right here that's going to go at the bottom because we're going to attach foam to that so now we are just gonna go really heavy on the hot glue and hot glue it to the actual shadow box it is centered on my desk as you can see it's centered when the camera is here but when i start moving it's not centered so i actually will move because i want you to see what i'm doing and then we're going to finish off the top i just thought it would be nicer under the camera for you to see a little better what's going on to hold the flowers in the center of our centerpiece i'm going to be using this floral foam it's kind of in the shape of a cone it goes down a little bit and then stops right there. It's perfect for any 3D wreaths because of the way it's shaped. And also it's just, I don't know, I've always used it and it seems to work just fine. I'm going to start putting hot glue just right on top of that little spike. And then our greenery is going to go right there. If you feel like you need to put a little bit more here and there, just pick it up and add it, but it should be fine. And here are the florals. I'm going to use some of these ranunculus, and by the way, tulips used to be my favorite flower, and now it's ranunculus, especially the real ones. Oh my goodness, they are just so elegant and beautiful. But anyway, these are from the Dollar Tree, and they're not so bad, so we're going to use those. I absolutely love using hydrangeas as fillers when you're making something big because they really do fill in the space. I'm going to be cutting these down fairly short, meaning about three inches, four maybe at the most, just because this is the smaller of the 3D wreaths. So I'm just going to start filling in this first bundle here. I have a lot of these peonies, so I'm just going to start making a circle on top right around the center. And here is how it looks so far from the side. Then our next bundle here. And also make sure to keep the greenery because the greenery is going to cover the foam really nicely. The next bushel of hydrangeas are going on the side. So basically in between each of the sections, I'm going to put in some florals on the sides here. Okay, and so now this is how we have it. See, it's pretty much filled in where you can hardly see the foam. We can always fill it in, but as you can see, it's starting to look really full. As you can see, we pretty much have our shape. And don't forget, we're still going to put stuff on top, so you don't want your uh, flowers to be too high up. Now with the ranunculus, I'm going to go into every other section and put in a ranunculus. So here I have this one. That means I need one right there. And here's how it's looking with the ranunculus so far. I want the white to dominate here, so I'm going to put more peonies. The fifth ranunculus that I have left, I'm going to put it straight in the middle. And this one I want to sit just a little high 
it's going to create our dome effect and then I'm going to bring more of the hydrangeas and fill them in because we have the outside that's pink you really want to brighten it up with the white by the way you can definitely if you don't have the pink raffia not a big deal you can use pink ribbon even pink fabric it's going to look absolutely stunning Next, I'm going to bring in these moss bunnies. And yes, they are so, so adorable. I'm going to grab a little skewer. I think I'm just going to cut it pretty much in half, about four inches there. And they already have little holes in them because this is what they're meant to be used for. And I'm going to put one on one side of our little flower and one on the other. And I'm not worried about painting our skewer or anything because my bunny is going to be basically sitting inside the flower so you're not going to be able to see it. And so they have two sitting down bunnies and one standing up. I'm going to just take one of each here and I'm going to grab this one, put them on this side. And if you want, you can definitely dab some hot glue in that one. Those little bunnies in there are so adorable now we gotta cover this part i have these hydrangeas that actually come off the stem so i'm going to take the stem off and just start hot gluing them right on top kind of just making a little i don't know just a little circle covering all the metal and of course we're going to do one and cover right there that little part okay so this part is covered right here and now i'm just going to start kind of making just a little bit i don't want too much there start hot gluing them on top 